Апогей 301. Новый четырехдиапазонный радиоприемник, которому всегда найдется место в рюкзаке. Good afternoon, this is RFORTV with breaking updates from Azenia. A significant cyber attack has disrupted broadcasting stations across Azenia this afternoon. The Department of Defense is investigating the incident, but the source of the attack remains unknown at this time. Stay tuned to RFORTV for the latest updates, and remember to stay safe. National and Federalists of Azenia would here I declare a state of emergency within Azenian territory and states. This is not a drill. This emergency alert system has been issued by the AODTH Department of Defense and Radiant Defense Ministry. Please pay close attention and follow instructions provided. We apologize one hour ago for the broadcast services outage. For those who are confused by the past event, all of our broadcasting stations, excluding HD Channel 74, has been hit by a cyber attack. We are unsure on who's behind these attacks, but we believe that a terrorist or rebellion organization is behind these incidents. For the past few weeks, the number of reports documenting the help us into these encounters has tremendously raised. Over 135 incidents has been logged and documented, bringing mass hysteria across Azenia and states. The 301 Elite Advancement Forces has recovered a diary located beside the North Catrill Observation Deck. Researchers has lately identified the ownership of the diary in which it belongs to a 15-year-old <laughs> This photo, in which was recently declassified, proves the entity's existence. Am I? Yes. Um, uh, I think we should go searching um, that way. Yeah, yeah. The moon is shining. Campsite. Wait, they come inside the cabin. I see something fall up on the tree. Hey, no cap, okay? Mario. J. Hilson, age 14, soon went missing. Five hours after the incident, local authorities found his body, but left without any facial features. Happy Halloween.